the one thing that men must understand is that you can't keep a woman. She can stay. You don't keep a woman. She stays. No matter what you do to keep her, if she wants to go, she goes. No matter what you do to try to get her to leave, if she wants to stay, you can't run a woman off who wants to stay. So how do you think you can make a woman stay who wants to leave? A woman who wants to leave has already laid her, has laid her path out. It's going to be a smooth transition for her. Another thing these guys think they do to keep a woman, but they end up losing her anyway. Is you think you can love away any of her past hurt, her past pain. You can't. Women never get over their past pain. They simply figure out a way to move past it. They never get over it. That's why I tell you, man, a woman who's been in a relationship, man, and, and it ended terribly or caused her some type of emotional turmoil, you are in trouble, man, if you deal with that woman. She's going to be emotionally needy. She's going to be mentally needy. She's gonna, and, and she's not going to be as physically needy as you want her to be. Because this is what women don't understand. Women don't understand that if you're a man and you got to let her cry on your shoulder and you're doing all that and you hugging her and caressing her and doing all that, that's a sexual movement for us. For her, it's just you being a nice guy. It's you showing, it, show her, showing her you know, uh, consideration and being thoughtful and, and kind. For us, all that physical touching, that turns into a sexual situation. But guess what? She doesn't want it to turn into a sexual situation. So if you think you can love away a woman's pain, you know, you say, well, you know, like Joe, baby, I want to do all of the things your man won't do. He'll do all the things your man won't do. Songs like that, guys who think like that are the reason that women are so all over the place because a woman believes that she can find a man out here who's going to do all of the things that she's never had done, no matter what she has going on. But guess what happens? You're just a thrill. And when the thrill is gone, thrill is gone away. When the thrill is gone, brother, it's gone. You can't be a thrill for a woman. You can't be a passing thrill for a woman. And that's what happens when you try to love away her past hurt. But first of all, it's beta as hell to try to love away some hurt that you didn't cause. If you got a woman and you hurt her and you love it and you want to love it away, cool. That's your woman. You did it. That's your woman. How are you going to meet a woman and then the woman that you met, you don't even know the dude that caused the hurt. You don't know the situation. All you're getting is her side of the story. And you're like, well, I don't know his side of the story. But according to your side of the story, I'll save you. Da, 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 da. Super simp. You're going to save her. I want you, I, I want y'all to think about what these guys do, man. They want to save a woman from the past dude. Listen how illogical it is. You're going to save a woman, not from a danger that's taking place, but from a danger from the past. It's like digging up somebody from the grave that's been shot. And standing in front of them saying, you're alive now. That part of that woman's emotionality is dead. You can't save a dead man. You can't save a dead woman. You can't save a dead dog. And you can't save a dead heart, brothers. But God still do it. God still want to save her. No matter how much you tell her, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. It don't matter how much you tell them. She don't want to be saved. They're going to save her anyway. You don't know what you're talking about, BOA. She does want to be saved. All women want to be saved. And I'll save her. That way. You can't love her past her pain. You can't love her past her pain. You can't love her past her pain. She'll never get past her pain. Never. I tell you one of the best acting roles I ever saw by a woman. On Love and Basketball, when Quincy uh, tore his ACL, when he's, when he's playing for the Lakers, when he left college and went to play for the Lakers, he tore his ACL, he was at the hospital, his mama was there with her new man, and his dad showed up, and he saw, he told her, I, 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 the way she looked at him, 
That's what the, that was the best actor role I ever seen. When she saw him, he said, how are you? She said, happy. The look she had on her face, the look of angst, the look of disgust, the look of pain. Now that new man she was with, he's trying to love her through that pain. But that pain never subsides. And let me tell you men something right now. While you're thinking you can love that pain away, let me tell you why that pain never dies. Get your, pull yourself up a chair because you're going to need this one, especially if you got a woman at home that you're trying to love the pain away. Let me tell you something about loving the pain away. You can't love the pain away because the pain ain't going nowhere and neither is the love. The love and pain a woman feels from a man from the past are attached. If she feels pain from that man, it's because she feels love from that man. If a woman is still hung up on the feelings that she had for a man, the bad feelings, the pain, the hurt, the sorrow, then she's still caught up on the love because she's looking at it from perspective of saying, I can't believe I gave that man my heart and he did this. And guess what? That man still has her heart, brother. Too much of it for you to feel comfortable with the beat you got. Too much of it for you to feel comfortable with the little bit you've got. You simply cannot, you cannot love away her pain. And you can't love away her love either. I don't care how much you love a woman. If she loves another man, it doesn't matter what you give her. It doesn't matter what you tell her. It doesn't matter what you do to her. If you love Another man. You got to tell the man that you're with, shawty, that you can't love him. But that's too much like right. See, she knows if she tells you that, guess what's going to happen? You're going to stop trying. She's going to let you. Let me tell you something. I want you to think about a woman who will let you try to do something that she knows you can't do. She knows she'll never love you. She knows she'll never be able to give the part of herself to you that you're pursuing, that you're chasing, that you're going after. She can never give it to you because another man has it. And guess what? He ain't going to give it back to her. She can't get it back. Another thing is after seven. I give you the sun, the trees, the moon, the stars, and the mountain. I'll give you the world and all that you wish for and even more. Because, girl, I love you more than you could know. And that's for sure. I climbed the highest mountain, swim the widest sea. Nothing could discourage me. Nothing could discourage me. Listen, the man says he'll do all this, all this. And then he turns around and says, I pray that you will be always there for me forevermore. He's doing all of that. And he still got to turn around and pray that the woman to be there for him. But that's what these guys do. You can give her everything and more. All that you've got. And she'll still come and get somebody else that thing thing. Why? Because you don't have everything to give her. You can't give a woman everything she needs. A woman has needs that she'll never share with you. Why? Because she knows you can't handle it. That's when we get brothers like Ron Wills talking about the sexual underworld. That's how women get involved in that world. She can't tell you everything she needs. Because one thing she might need is for you and your homeboy to tag her up. One thing she might need is a wood that's much bigger than yours. One thing she might need is DP. You have to keep it in mind, man. You have to keep in mind. Yeah, I keep I, I see this thing keep flashing, man. Let me uh I don't know what's going on, man. The encoder is looking good. I don't know what YouTube doing, man. I don't know what's happening. But let's keep rolling, man, until they shut it down.
We're just going to keep going, man. The man with a plan. Appreciate the super chat, bro. Bro, say, Larry, you think the cats that sing them song live that? They may, bro. Look around you. Look at all the beta males around you. It ain't hard to imagine that cats back then was doing it. They, they the one made the song. I endow, man. Appreciate the uh, $5 super chat. What's good with you, man? Dead Miles, appreciate the $5 Canadian, bro. We'll say five stream with CGA today, book. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that all, all the Alpha Sphere came over there and represented too, man. Pac Man, appreciate the super chat, bro. Say what's good, BOA. Appreciate all you do. Salute, doc. Salute to you, bro. Cool Rob, my brother. What's up, man? Appreciate the $10 super chat. The man with a plan. Appreciate the super chat, bro. Say, yeah, yeah, I do, man. I do. Marlon244, appreciate the $5 super chat, bro. Say the power and the truth that you are speaking can never be measured. Powerful gems. Salute to you, brother. Appreciate you being in the joint. Now, let me tell you this, man. And as far as the notifications, man, they won't let me set the stream up early, man. For whatever reason, they won't let me set it up for a future date. I just had to come on with it. So I appreciate all y'all being in here, man. I don't know how many people are going to show up because I know the notifications didn't go out. So let's just rock out with what we got. You can't give her everything she needs because she needs more than you. You got to get some help to give her everything she needs. She need a man to go to work and a man to stay at home with her. She need an alpha and a beta. She need a man that control her and a man that let him control let her control him. She needs it all, brother. That's why I don't understand how guys believe that they can, you know, that they can give a woman everything she needs. How? How can you give her everything she needs when she needs you to be in two places at one time? She's always talking about me never being at home. But when I'm damn broke. She keep talking about the thing that a girlfriend got that she ain't got. But girl, I can't be in two places at one time. If you think you're lonely now. Wait until the night, girl. That's what I'm telling you, man. These guys don't understand that these things are real. A woman will complain about you never being at home. But when you're at home with her, laying up with her and you're broke. Then she talking about the things a girlfriend got that she ain't got. Then she wants you to be in two places at one time. How you going to give her everything, brother? How you going to give her everything? Well, she wants more than one man can give. Y'all better keep in mind. She, you, listen, bro. Bobby Wallman got another song called, I wish he didn't trust me so much about his homeboy girl. His homeboy, old lady. You know, this is homeboy. He at the crib. They trying to black me out, man. This is homeboy, old lady. He at the crib, chilling with her. His homeboy trust him. He always there. He got with his homeboy, old lady. I wish he didn't trust me so much, man. The boy trust me too much. Now, he don't trust you too much. He trusts his old lady too much. You can never give her everything she wants. So let's, let's segue from that into happy wife, happy life. Happy wife, happy life. I done seen plenty of happy wives divorce men. There are happy wives all over the place. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah, happy wife, happy life for her. If she a happy wife, her life is happy. That ain't for you. Happy wife, happy life don't mean happy wife, the husband have a happy life. It means happy wife, the wife have a happy life. You find me a man to do everything in his power, a man to make his old lady happy. Guess what? That man is going to be miserable. That man is going to be miserable, man. Yeah, I don't know. L let, me, let me see if I can check something over here, man. I got it on low latency, man. It, man, it should be rolling, man. Let me see. Stream health. Stream health is excellent. Viewer activity. Analytics. Everything is gravy, man. I don't know what's happening with it. I don't know if it's my... It ain't my camera, man. My camera, 1010. Same camera I use today on Greg's show, man. Let's see, man. 
Poe B, appreciate the $5 super chat, homie. Alexio, man, appreciate you joining the Alpha family, bro. Salute to you. Trucker J, appreciate the $10 super chat. Eric Alanese, man, appreciate the uh, appreciate you joining the Alpha family, brother. Appreciate it. Eric Alanis, we'll call it that. Alanis, Alanese, one or the other. Well, I mean, as long as we keep flowing, man, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, we, we ain't gonna keep calling it out. As long as it keep us going, man, we gonna roll with it. You know what I'm saying? If it's too much for you, man, then just come back to the next stream. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't saying that to be, you know, an asshole. I'm just saying, you know, if it's too much for you, man, then just come back to the next stream. Because we gonna keep rolling until they shut it all the way down or until we finish. So let's talk about this happy wife, happy life thing, man. I know men with happy wives. Now, I know a few men with happy wives, man, because their wives didn't have nothing. I know a guy, man, he was paid, super paid. You know what I'm saying? Millionaire, multimillionaire. He met his old lady, man. Her ex, her, her husband had just committed suicide. The insurance wouldn't pay out. And so she was busted. Busted and disgusted. He picked her up, man. You know what I'm saying? Picked her up. Picked her children up. She had a couple of children, man. He picked both of them up. And, I mean, to this day, to this day, man, she happy. You know what I'm saying? She was low maintenance and still is low maintenance. You know what I'm saying? Literally, he just bought a, a 2016 Jaguar, man. She cried, she cried crocodile tears because he bought a 2016 Jaguar, man. I mean, literally, 2016 Jag, man. She cried crocodile tears, man. Boo-hoo tears, man. I thought she was going. I thought she was going to kick the bucket. Happy wife, happy life. And his life still ain't happy, because she is certain. She's certainly a physical downgrade from his last wife. Now this is second wife. She's certainly a physical downgrade. Oh, I'm talking about a way down physical downgrade. We talking about man going from, you know, a Miss America contestant to. I ain't gonna say whoopee, but. You know what I'm saying? We talking about we talking about going nine to five like a job. But like I said earlier on Greg's show, she works for him. You know what I'm saying? That's a compromise he was willing to make. He had the beauty queen that didn't work out, so he did that, man. And you know that's that's what you have to understand, man. Happy wife, happy life. Your life is only be happy if you compromise. You either got to accept the fact that you got to do everything the one wants you to do and be cool with that, or you got to accept the fact that you got to take a a, a, a a much less attractive woman who's happy to be with you. I think every man should do that. Every man should have a woman who's happy as hell to be with him. I think that's what Derek Jackson did, man. He got a woman, man, that's happy as hell to be with him. She probably can't believe that he chose her. That's the type of woman that you need to have in your life, man. If, if you can have a beautiful woman like that in your life, fine. But if you got to downgrade a little bit physically, man, on the physical side, I'm not telling you, man, to get no boogaloo, but I'm saying if you got to downgrade some on the physical side, man, and have a woman that's that ride with you like that, man, do that. Any woman you have, no matter how beautiful she is, no matter how beautiful she's not, she got to be ride or die for you. And happy wife, happy life doesn't feed into that. Happy wife, happy life feed into you ride or die for her. She said, I ain't with that, man. Me, me and her both going to be miserable if I got to have happy wife, happy life. We both going to. I bet I can handle it better than she can. So, another thing is this, man. Living without sex after marriage. Man, I heard a dude say that in, in a comment, man. He said... No sex is just a part of marriage. I want y'all to think about that, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to record a piece of content. I'm going to drop it tomorrow, man. I'm going to drop it tomorrow, man. Well, one of the two pieces of content I dropped tomorrow, man. I'm going to drop it, man. I, I, I got to talk about that, man. No sex is just a part of marriage. You just got to deal with it. And you got to be a man and just push through it. Or be less than a man and leave your woman and give up. I said, man, these dudes is nuts. What part of that makes, what part of that arrangement makes a man say, I'm a man. You're not a man because you would leave your woman for no sex. I'm going to stick by my woman's side for no sex. And guess what, man? Your wood going to stop working. 
You're going to look up and it's been three years, man, since you remember last time you woke up with a pee hard on. You know what I'm saying? Something wrong with you, boy, if you don't wake up. If you don't wake up with a pee brick, that's real. Something wrong with you, man. Your libido gone or your health gone, one or the other. I tell you, man, right now, either your health gone or your libido gone if you don't wake up with a pee hard on in the morning. Period. You need First, you need to look at your health and then you need to look at yourself. And how you interact with that woman. I'm telling you, man, either your libido gone or your health gone if you don't wake up with a pee hard on. This, that's the simplest way to tell your state of mental and physical health. Simplest way to tell. Johnny Deron, appreciate the $10 super chat. Johnny say, just discovered you. I'm reestablishing my masculinity and alpha mentality with your content. Salute to your brother. Keep doing that, bro. Keep growing. Keep grinding and growing, man. So when, when you say that, man, it's like, Okay, so what are you getting out of scenario? If you settle down with a woman and tell her, okay, it's just going to be me and you. I'm going to let all my other women go and I'm just going to be with you. The least that woman can do is take care of your sexual needs. What do you have if the woman won't even take care of your basic sexual needs? You got nothing. You got a roommate. You got a roommate, dog. And not a very good roommate. You probably don't even sleep in the room with her no more. She, man, she won't nothing sexy for you, man. Y'all don't even touch no more. She, man, she don't give you no brain. If she ain't giving you no sex, I know she ain't giving you no brain. Boy, you sitting over there, you probably 32 years old, sitting over there like you 72. Man, your wood don't work. You're all miserable all the time. You can't build no muscle. You ain't got no motivation because you got to deal with a woman every day with no reward. Your reward for dealing with a woman is she just around me. I feel so happy to have her around around me I, I i don't i i hate to see her go i love her presence that's all it takes she she makes my world go round you know when she leave the house ain't no sunshine when she's gone ain't no sunshine when she's gone man i love her i do love you i love you i love you i'm telling you man my baby, I love you so, and I don't want you to go, no, no. I'm telling you, man, this is how these boys be, man. They don't understand the purpose of having a woman in your life. They don't understand the benefits of having a woman in your life. They don't understand the necessity that a woman must bring. A woman must bring things that are necessary to your life if you're going to have her. If not, man, you're stuck in a happy wife, happy life. Thing. And I'm going to tell you, I promise you, just because she ain't giving you sex don't mean she ain't getting none. I can promise you that. If she ain't getting no sex, that don't mean she ain't giving. And let me tell you the weirdo thing. These guys, old ladies, be having dildos at the crib. Come on, bro. Come on, homie. You a man at the crib. Your woman laying in the bed with a whole man every night. And when she want to have sex, she have sex with a, a plastic Willy Wonka, bro? Come on, man. Come on, man. You got to be kidding me, man. Because I'm telling you, that woman is not going without sex, man. She's not going without it. I had a chick come in the comments, man, and say, man, men shouldn't be with women because even 50-year-old women out here cheating. A woman came in and said that because either she 50 or she see her mama cheating on her daddy. They boys out here crazy, man. That woman is getting cut by somebody. Man, listen, bro, let me tell you something. If a woman lives with you and doesn't have sex with you, she hates you. She hates you. I'm not talking about hate you. See, hate doesn't mean you want to kill them. We look at hate like the, the clan hating a black man. No, that's not what we're talking about. That woman hates you. That woman hates your presence. She hate to see you coming. She love to see you going. She hate to see your name in her phone when you call her. She hate to see your text coming. She hate all of that about you, man. If a woman can live with you every day and nothing about your masculine energy turns her on, man, you a fool. I mean that, bro. You a fool. And I ain't talking about a little fool. You a big old fool, homie. A big old fool. 
And these boys think that's okay. They think that it's they think it's normal to be the guy said that's a part of marriage. So guys think it's normal to be with a woman every day and never have sex. They think it's normal to have a woman that and, and let me tell you the crazy thing. I want y'all to think about this perspective as well. Sometimes the dude just ain't even turned on by the woman. The only thing worse than being with a woman that ain't turned on by you is being with a woman you ain't turned on by. Why in the hell would you be around a woman that you don't even want to have sex with? I don't give a damn what she bring to the table. She ain't got to be around me every day to bring it. If a woman is in my house with me, bro, it's going to be some back breaking and, 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 some, and some soul taking whenever I get ready for it. Or she going to be gone. These boys is out here, man, these boys out here living in, 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 I ain't lying, man. You might well be living that single life, bro. You got to live like that. Them dudes is nuts. Them dudes is nuts, man. I ain't lying, bro. Lee Murphy, man, appreciate the five dollars super chat, bro. Say, I appreciate the knowledge that you drop. This is your voice, life change. Salute, Doctor B O A. Salute to you, Lee. D. Bryant, what's up, man? Appreciate the five dollars super chat. Yeah, I see that, Eric, but you know what I'm saying? That ain't the word of the most high, man. That uh, that Christian doctrine, man, that ain't the word of the most high. That's Paul's word. We don't rock with Paul, man. Paul didn't get no ordination. He ain't get no blessing from nobody. Even when Jesus was hanging out, man, he ain't never mentioned Paul. That was Matthew. That was Mark. That was Luke. Even Judas. You know what I'm saying? That was Peter. There was no Paul. There was John, but there was no Paul. That boy just popped up out of nowhere, man. Killed a man and took over his movement, man. I thought everybody should know that. It's obvious. The historical data is there. Killed a man and took over his movement. Jose, C. Rob, I see you again, man. Appreciate $2 Super Chat. Bro, say, man, these dudes crazy out here, man. They nuts, bro. They out their mind. Jose Navarro, appreciate the $5 Super Chat. Jose say some men don't know any better. They may have been raised in a home where parents had no affection. Man, most men were raised at home like that because most marriages, bro, don't have no affection in them. You know what I'm saying? Most marriages don't have no affection in them. And it's crazy out here, man. I'm telling you, man. So, so when, you, when you think about that, man, that's how you get into letting a woman lead because I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, man, part of your control over your woman is breaking her back. Part of your control over your woman is digging deep into her soul, man. Part of your control over your woman is touching her insides, man, in a way that nobody else can touch them because she's your woman. Nobody else should touch them, but you can't even touch them. You can't even touch them. If you got one woman, that's part of your control mechanism, bro. A big part of your control mechanism. You know what I'm saying? If you can't threaten her, if you can't threaten her, with a back breaking, bro, something wrong. That should be a threat. You should be able to hit your woman up and say, all right, see you talking crazy. All right, you know what I'm going to do. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have you limping around here for about two days. And even though she may want it because she know what come before the limping, she gonna, that threat going to be there. That threat going to be there. You need to be able to talk to her crazy. You need to be able to check her while you're breaking her back. Put in a vulnerable position. You can't put your woman in a vulnerable position if you don't ever have sex with her. You can't. The most vulnerable position a woman can be in is to open herself up sexually, man, and just submit to you. Most men in relationships don't get no other submission from their woman. That's the only submission they get. That's the only chance they got to funnel that submission into the rest of the relationship. And if you lose that, there is no other form of submission, man, for most of these guys. Most men don't have, don't have the, the, the mental wherewithal, man, to dominate a woman emotionally. They don't have, they're too emotional themselves. So all you got left is that, that time that do, to do what y'all call love making, man. Man, you, bro, I don't understand these dudes, man. It's crazy out here. Marcus Theus, man, appreciate the $10 super chat, homie. You got to give us some act right, man. If you can't, man, listen, man. If you can't, if you can't hit her back right, you can't get no act right. That's real talk. So they're living without sex after marriage. 
Oh, the woman, of course, if there's no sex in the marriage, the woman gonna leave. That marriage ain't gonna last. It hell, it may not last if there's sex in it. The statistics say it won't. There's a 50 50 chance it won't. But I guarantee you, out of those 50% of marriages, man, that end the divorce, I guarantee you, man, that the overwhelming majority of those are people who don't have sex. You lose your connection with your woman, man, if you don't put the wood on her sometime, bro. You lose your connection with her. Now, another thing that these guys do, man, 10 cent mistakes men make trying to keep a woman only to lose her anyway. Letting her lead sometimes. I say letting her lead sometimes. Why do I say sometimes? Because she should lead no times. If a woman is leading you, boy, she's taking you somewhere you don't need to go. Letting your woman lead sometimes simply means that the time she's leading, you're doing something feminine or going somewhere feminine. And what man needs to be going somewhere feminine? Boy, you ain't promised no time in your life. How much time you got to wait going somewhere feminine is trying to follow your woman? You can't do it, man. You can't do it. It doesn't work. This is the thing, man. Let's say you got a woman, man, who lives in, let's say you live in Miami. You know what I'm saying? She's from California. She's living in Miami. She's about to go back home. You're going to go back home with her. You ain't never been to California. You're at a disadvantage. It don't even matter what you got. It don't, even if you got paper, you still at disadvantage because you don't know the area. You got to rely on her to show you the area. You're at her beck and call uh, for, for that period of time because you need her to help you acclimate yourself to the environment. Most men do. Me, I strike out on my own, man. I hop in my whip, man, strike out on my own, man, pull up at a restaurant, uh, maybe even a fast food joint. Probably not a fast food joint because you probably end up with a hood chick. And California's probably going to be SA. But, man, I pull up somewhere. I go to Ethiopia somewhere. I just find someone on the map, pull up there, meet a chick there, man, and she'll be my new friend. She'll be my new tour guide around there, man. Ain't no woman finna have me handicapped. No way I go, man. So that's what I do. I pull up at the restaurant, super fly, man, draped up and dripped out, man. Go in there, man, and see which one of them chicks seem like she the nicest. Get a, get a backstory on her right quick. And then that's my new girl right there. You understand what I'm saying? If you're bad enough, I might even break her back to make sure I got her tight on the team. But these guys out here don't think like that. They go somewhere with a woman. They thinking about what you shouldn't do. But hypothetically speaking, they go somewhere with a woman. They're trying to be loyal to the brow. You can't be loyal to a bra because you can't be loyal back. How you going to be loyal to something that can't be loyal back? How you going to be dedicated to something that can't be dedicated back? A woman can never be dedicated to you. She can be dedicated to your process because she can see a benefit from your process. Women don't look at men to see what benefit they can get from men. They look at men to see what benefit the man can give them. Sound like the same thing, don't it? Well, let me break that down from a pimp perspective. When a woman is looking to see how she can benefit from a man, she's looking at that man as a short-term fix. Okay, if I give him this, how much will he give me? It's kind of like the chicks on, on um, what's the site, man? The Sugar Dad on, on, on Seeking Arrangements. A lot of those chicks on Seeking Arrangements are probably there looking for, well, I, I, see, I counsel enough guys off there to know, a lot of those chicks are just looking for something temporary they look for somebody man who gonna help them make it through school man break them off they come through come through and hang out and chill they ain't even trying to spend the night a lot of the time then every now and then they'll come across one man that actually they actually just click with but those chicks are looking for a short-term fix that's what a chick's looking for when she's looking for they're looking to see what kind of how what kind of benefit she can get from you but when she's looking to see how you can benefit her but then when she's looking to see what kind of benefit she can get from you or vice versa, you know, one or the other. She's looking to see what you got going on, how she can input herself into that and be with you for the long term haul until she get to where Dr. Dre's wife is and break out until she get where Tracy Morgan's wife is and break out. See, if you broke, a woman look at you as a quick fix. If you got paper, a woman doesn't let you as a long term solution. That's how guys even get caught up. Guys that are successful end up getting caught up thinking that the woman want them because she doesn't play them like a short-term fix. She plays them like a long-term solution. But a long-term solution is just a short-term fix magnified by some years. It's the same principle. 
It's just the fact that you have more to offer. And so she could see you for the long haul. She could see coming up off you for the long haul. These guys don't understand. So a guy who has paper and get a woman, he think he in better shape than the man who the woman just get money out of every time she see him. But he ain't in better shape. That man going to come out better than you in the long run because that woman going to stick to you like a fly in a fly trap. And then she going to rape you for everything you got, homie. Man, listen, man, she going to hit your pocket with a razor blade and everything going to fall out the bottom of your pants leg, homie. These guys don't understand what they're dealing with out here, man. So when I hear them come in and say, I had a guy come in and come in and say, yeah, man, that's that old, that's that old recycle old school pimp talk. Fool, if you got anything bad to say about the old school pimps, you a sucker. You still ain't figured women out. You can go back to an old school pimp like the Rosebud when he was young. You, you can go back to Phil Mo Slim when he was young. You can go back to Bishop Magic Dunn 1 when he was young. Man, listen, bro. That's the game. The game ain't never changed. The true game don't change. The players change, but the game stay the same. True game don't never change. It's always going to be what it is. And these guys don't know it. And if they know it, they don't show it. Got a woman with some sex she ain't gonna give to you so she know you know she ain't gonna hoe it. That's real talk, bro. Sacred G, Henry Clemente, I see you, brother. These guys don't understand what they're dealing with out here, man. So, you know, when you letting a woman lead you, that woman, that woman is always gonna lead you to the place that benefits her. A woman is a woman is never gonna lead you to the place that benefits you. She gonna lead you to the place that benefits her, and then she gonna try to convince you that this place benefits you by selling you some type of fairy tale dream of how this situation benefits you. We should get a bigger house. You know, if we get a bigger house, then you no, know, we can we can do this, and you can have your own office. You got an office already. You leave home and go to the office every day. She's trying to tell you you can have your own office at home. You won't have to work so much, and blah blah blah. She's not telling you that because she wants you to stay at home. She, she bat her eyes at you and tell you, you won't have to work so much. And then you looking at her like, oh, she want me to be at home. No, she don't want you to be at home. She wants you to buy this dream that you're going to have a little bit of office at home so you can get this big old house. Women aren't crafty. Men are just dumb. Women seem smart because men act so dumb. I'm telling you, bro. That's all it is. John to Del Rome, man, appreciate the twenty dollars super chat. Could you give advice on how to detach emotions from a scandalous female I used to have relations with, a coworker I gave too much power to? I'm ten months sober, work sixty plus hours, live every day, engulfed in red pill. Seem like you got it, man. It just take time, bro. It takes time to even get to the point where you can control those emotions. Let me tell you guys something about emotions while we own it, man. You can't ever get over the emotions you give a woman. I want you men to understand how dire it is for you to give yourself to a woman emotionally. You never get over those emotions. You can just master them enough where they won't dominate you, but for the rest of your life, you're going to think about that woman, dog. I want you men to understand this. That's why I tell you, keep yourself emotionally unavailable. Keep yourself emotionally unavailable. You don't have to be emotionally detached, but be, be, being emotionally detached simply means that you, 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 you completely just stay away from the whole concept of emotions. No, you just want to be emotionally. Let me rephrase this. You want to be emotionally Available, but emotionally detached. You don't have to be emotionally unavailable. Me, I'm both, but you don't have to be emotionally unavailable. You can just be emotionally detached, which means you deal with women and their emotions. You just don't attach your emotions to their emotions. Once you attach your emotions to a woman's emotions, bro, it's over. You're never going to get over, ever. Ever. I promise you, brothers, it's the worst mistake you could ever make. To tie your emotions to a woman. It's the worst mistake you can ever make. Because you stuck. You stuck in that space. Ten years down the line man. You still going to be thinking about that woman from time to time. 
You're going to be over her being with somebody else. You're going to be over everything, but you still going to, that woman will never leave your mind, bro. That love thing is serious, bro. You got to stay the hell away from it, man. You got to stay the hell away from it. So it just take time, bro. It just take time. And, you, and another thing, you got to stay out of that emotional space with the next woman. Guys don't give themselves time to heal from that emotional wreckage because when you give your emotion to a woman, you're going to be wrecked. You're going to be emotionally wrecked. That's what they do. That's what they... You know, women truly believe that we're emotionally like them. They believe that. They believe that the same way they can get past things and do all that we can, but they have... You know, they have a, 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 a serious, um, they have a, a network of people. They have an alliance that helps them get past any emotional attachment they have. We don't have that. Man, let me tell you something. If you go get attached to a woman, you can't come to me and say, and come crying to me, man, by being emotionally attached to a woman. I'm going a, I'm to a, you know, give you the information that I have, but I'm not going to sit there and eat ice cream, nigga, and cry with you, and we bat, pat our eyes with, 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 with hankies and all that. We ain't going to do all that. You know what I'm saying? Me and the crew ain't going to come through and fall through on you, man. So we're going to let man get up out of here, man. Let's roll. We're not going to understand your hurt because we ain't been through that. We don't play that game. It's not because, you know, you ain't our partner, man, and we don't care what happened to you. It's because we don't know what the hell you're going through, man, because we stay away from that. We told you to stay away from it, too. But guess who didn't? Jose Navarro, appreciate the $5 super chat. Jose say the time, money, we men always be in there. Her family's boring gatherings to make her happy just to leave you like nothing you did mattered to her. That's another thing, man. Real talk. The shadow point. Appreciate the $5 super chat, bro. Say I'm on you, brother. Talk that. Salute to you, bro. Appreciate you being in the joint. Man with a plan, appreciate the super chat, bro. So how do you stay unavailable? I mean, you just, you know, let me tell you guys something. You got to control yourself. You know it's bad business to get emotionally available. You know it's bad business to get caught up emotionally with a woman. You have to look at yourself and say, I'm not going to let you do anything to damage me, self. It's about self-control. You have to flee a situation when you feel yourself getting caught up with a woman. If you know you type of guy to get caught up with women easy, then you better not be getting a, you better not even be getting to know women that well. Like you got to do what you got to do to keep yourself from waking up one day saying, "Man, I think I love her." It's over at that point. You stay emotionally unavailable by not spending quality time with the woman. All your, you know, what AMS calls your, 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 well, I guess I can't say it either. They say, uh, somebody got a patent on it. So your time, your time that, 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 where those, no, there's no intimacy going on. You know what I'm saying? Your time where you're not breaking her back. You have to minimize that time. You can't be spending quality time hanging out and holding hands and walking around and having dinner and walking at the park and taking trips and doing all that, man. And, 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 and be standing up looking at the stars all hugged up and laid up on the beach on a beach blanket and all that. Before you know it, you in love. Why? Because you're doing all that romantic shit. That's why women push romantic. The quickest way to get a man to fall for you is to push romance. That's why women push it. They know that. You want a man to fall for you, get him to get involved in doing romantic shit with you. He going to get caught up. The woman don't get caught up with your romance. You get caught up. That's the crazy part about romance. Men get caught up in romance. Women don't. You can't get a woman caught up on romance. You get a woman caught up on smooth talking and back breaking. You know what I'm saying? Smooth talking and back breaking, man, with a combination of alpha energy, bro. You can lock a woman down. You can't lock her down romance. Romance is for you. That's why she be batting her eyes and doing all that and, 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 and crying and, and shedding those fake tattoo tears, those fake crocodile tears and all that because she wants the romance to have the effect on you. She wants you to believe that romance is the thing you need to keep doing. And with romance, you're going to keep falling in love because every time you give a woman give a woman a gift, watch how sweet she act. You can, a woman can be the biggest nuisance of your life. Give her a gift and watch how sweet she act for a little while. Now give her a gift every day. You got a woman to act sweet all the time. You got boys out here bringing their woman flowers home every day. Then tell my man, I got a good girl, man. To tell the people you bring her flowers every day, a woman can't help but be happy, niggas. You get fresh roses every day. 
I've seen a dude, old lady, leave him. They was engaged. Leave him to go be with a dude because the dude didn't do never send her flowers at work every day. Women aren't that smart. Men are just weak, man. Big Rich. Appreciate $10 Super Chat, bro. Say practical wisdom as always. Salute to you, Rich. The Shatter Point, man. Appreciate you joining the Alpha family, bro. See, these are the things, man, that we as men must understand, man. Like, like we have to keep in mind that all of these things, this is the life that we as men must seek. Another thing, turning a thought into a housewife. Men believe that everybody deserves a second chance. I do too. I believe that everyone deserves a second chance. But that second chance is not going to be like the first time. Ain't nothing like the first time. I want to tell you I can blow your mind. Ain't nothing like the first time. The second chance is not like the first chance. The first chance is raw, it's real, it's well-deserved, it's a clean slate. The second chance after you make the mistakes is not the same. Second chance just means that your mistakes don't swallow you up. But the second chance ain't like that. A woman only get one chance to make a first impression. A woman only get one chance to be childless because I'm going to be honest with you. Once a woman tell me she had an abortion, I count her as having one child. She had two abortions. I count her as having two children. You don't get to kill them and then say you ain't got them. In my book, you still got them. I'm not counting the children. I'm counting what the children represent. The children represent you and a man having unprotected sex and you not even thinking that, it, that he need to pull out. You can't turn a thought into a housewife. You got a better chance of turning a housewife into a thought than you got to turn a thought into a housewife, man. And that's the reality of it, bro. I, I wouldn't make this up. When, see, what happens, man, when you turn a thought into a housewife, man, you pretty much look at her and say, I know you're not qualified for this job. This job requires a PhD. You dropped out in seventh grade. Uh, this job requires 10 years of experience. Only place you ever worked is McDonald's and you got fired the first day because the grease popped on you out the fry thing and you left. Uh, you need to, you know, you need to be able to drive. You know, you got to have reliable transportation and they took your bus pass because you got to fight on the bus. You had to walk everywhere you go. Uh, let's see. Um, you know, you, you, you can't have children. You know what I'm saying? And you got a full romper room, but we, we don't care. We're going to let that ride. You know what I'm saying? You got to you got to not have any, any any felony convictions. You've been to prison twice and, and, and almost went back a third time. But for some reason, the witness disappeared and now they're investigating you for killing that witness. So, but come on into this job. That's what you do when you turn that into a housewife. You overlook all her imperfections. You overlook all the things that should disqualify her from the position of wife and you marry her anyway. All of the disqualifying factors. You totally ignore all the disqualifying factors and marry her anyway. And I say to you, why? Why? Why would you do that? And you know what men say? I don't know. I don't know. Law, appreciate $2 super chat. Law said women are massive emotion, protect your energy guys real talk avp life appreciate the five dollar super chat bro say top notch boss game salute to you bro t fit appreciate the twin dollar super chat t say man smooth talking and back breaking got to throw that on t-shirt homie yeah real talk real talk hey all the homies man who uh who got the uh alpha executive t-shirts man all the patrons man who got the alpha executive t-shirts man uh they on the way man they're in the mail i appreciate everybody man doing their thing man um Got the alpha executive, got the uh, alpha owner, got the uh, let me tell you something, got a new let me tell you something design, man. I got some cold designs over there, man. The guys seem to be liking them, man. They flocking to them, man. So when you get a chance, man, slide over there to bookofalpharonomy.com, man. Go ahead over there and check them out, man. I got them in a collection, man. T-shirt and sweatshirt collection. Just click that collection, man, and open up. So Leroy Wild, man, appreciate 279 Comedian, bro. 
Salute to you, bro. I said straight comedy, man. Salute to you, bro. So, man, another thing is this, bro. And, and let me tell you another thing about turning thought into a housewife. You got a housewife, but she's still going to be a thought. So not only did you turn a thought into a housewife, now you got a housewife who's still going to behave like a thought. You don't know who baby it is. It might look like you a little bit, but you don't know if it's yours. Because when a thought get a sucker, boy, she put it on that fool, man. A thought treat a sucker like a sucker. See what I'm saying? A thought treat a sucker like a sucker, bro. I ain't lying to you. Treat them all kind of ways. Have them taking care of somebody else, baby, man. Have them doing all, all types of things, man. I'd rather have a house fly than a house thought. Salute the young. It's just a weird thing, man. Another thing, brothers, is this, man. And this one, this one, for me, this one is a big one right here, man. The reason why you turn a thought into a housewife is because you believe a woman can have thought friends but not be a thought. You believe that if five girls hang together and all of them are thoughts, that sixth girl that hangs with them is not a thought. For whatever strange reason, that sixth girl is just hanging with five thoughts. She's a church girl, but she's hanging with five thoughts. What does a church girl have in common with five thoughts? Unless she a thought in training. Either way it goes. You have to understand that it's a fool's move to believe that she can have thought friends, but and she's just she she ain't got no parts in that. And then she sit and tell you crazy stuff like that. Well, well, you know, well, all my friends are thoughts, but you know, I just I just grew up with them and they my girls. I don't want to leave them. Blah 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 and and blah blah. And that's fine. A woman can say that. A woman can say that. That's logical. If a woman says all my friends are thoughts, fine. But if every weekend she hanging out with them thoughts, come on, bruh. I understand them her friends and she don't want to just abandon them, turn her back on her. Women don't really function like that. So she don't want to abandon them, turn her back on her. And she just, she just don't hang with them. But they still her friend. They can still call her and talk to her when they got an issue in their life and, and all that right there. You know, one of them get pregnant, man. She, she go to the baby shower, those type of things. But if she hanging with them thoughts, man. And then I'm going to tell you like this. Even if she ain't hang with them no more. You know what that mean? That mean that she just don't want to be a thought no more. That mean that she done found her one. She done found her one worth not being a thought no more. And, and guess who he is? You fool. She done found her one that's worth hiding her thought tendencies. And it's you. Just because a woman hide her thought tendencies don't mean she ain't a thought, brother. That just means she hiding it. But not from everybody else. Just from you. She don't want you to see it. She don't want you to know it. That's why she doesn't show it. Side mug, a man appreciate the $10 super chat. Bro, say real rap. You break her back and flip all types of way. Then she'll still look elsewhere till you leave. And she's stuck looking for your energy through the others after you. Man, say, well, let, let, let me repeat that. Let me repeat that. Real rap. You break her back and flip her all types of ways. Then she'll still look elsewhere till you leave. And she's still looking for your energy through the others after you. Hey, bro. That, hey, that brother there, this is my first time seeing him in here. That boy, Alpha right there, man. That's an alpha male experience right there. Now, I, out of all of that, out of all of that that you read, that, I, that, that you read it and that I said, I want you to key in on one part. Till you leave. And she's stuck looking for your energy. Why? Because once you get, once you leave her, you ain't coming back. She ain't got no more access. Then she realizes the error of her ways. But it's too late. She got to live the rest of her life doing what the brother Sai said. She's looking for your energy through the others after you. Looking for your energy through the others after you. That's crazy. That's how it goes, though, man. Looking for your energy through, and guess what? She'll never find it. 
So she may end up becoming one. She may end up becoming a thought a lot. You know what I'm saying? So that that's the super the, the super thoughtastic thought. The thought a lot, man. She just gonna go for it. So she got multiple men. She got this man over there, that man over there, this man over here. She 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 dealing with all those men sexually, mentally, emotionally, financially, in order to build the energy from the one the one man that she'll spend the rest of her life regretting. The one man she'll spend the rest of her life regretting that she lost. And that's real, man. Now, this one right here is one of the greatest travesties. And I hear men talk about this in, in one way or another. I hear a bunch of men talk about this. Making sex all about her pleasure. Making sex all about her pleasure. Like the homicide just said, no matter what you do, you can break her back every time you hit in the sack, man. And she can still go out and seek something else from somewhere else. If she's never satisfied, she's never satisfied. She's never satisfied, bro. So why make sex all about her pleasure? Then when I hear guys talking about, I had a guy coming to come in today, man, you don't know what you're talking about. Seeing with retention ain't about abstinence. Seeing retention is about having sex but not releasing. Man, let me tell I'm going to tell you like this, and I mean this. Any man who goes around having sex with women and intentionally not releasing is stupid. You're a beta male simp mangina. You're a beta male simp mangina to go please a woman with no intent of getting pleasure. There's a thousand things you could be doing other than going pleasing some woman with nothing to gain. Except for a stroke of your ego saying, ooh, I did it. I did it. Dun, 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 dun. You did it. Super simp. That's the most illogical thing I ever heard in my life. I'm going to go and have amazing sex with this woman. I'm going to blow her mind and then I'm going to brag to everybody that I blew her mind and I didn't, and I, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't bust. I didn't get no release. Man, bro, that's, it's the most illogical thing I've ever heard because there are not enough benefits from that that you can, you can get those benefits in other ways. It's not going to be, come on, bro. Come on. I still say to this day, abstinence is better than semen retention. Abstinence kills semen retention because you know what abstinence does it keeps you out of that feminine energy when a woman is sexually aroused that's when the like oodles of her spiritual energy that feminine spiritual energy just loses and engulfs you man you can't get that same retention if you're gonna go and have sex with a woman and and, and but man bro every time i hear brother brag be about that man i'll be like man this dude here this dude crazy I'm going to go and give this woman the best sex she ever had in her life. And I ain't going to even boss. Okay. For whatever trophy that's going to get you, man, fine. Fine. Whatever trophy that's going to get you, all right, cool. I bet it's a little trophy. I bet it don't even go on the mountain. It don't even go in trophy care. You put that trophy in your pocket. I bet a trophy the size of a condom. You ain't going to get no big trophy for that. Because it's nothing. It's nothing at all. Women were put here for our pleasure. So how you going to pleasure her but not you? See, men also have a problem with keeping the game straight. Men also have a problem with keeping their own position straight. If a woman was made to be a help meeting a mate for you, why are you going out your way to give her pleasure in, in, for nothing? You flipping the script. She's supposed to be going out her way to give you pleasure. Let me tell you something. The majority of these guys have never had one woman, let alone more than one woman. Do everything in her power where to make it her number one goal to bring you to the greatest ecstasy that a man could ever feel in his life. Most of these guys don't have that. Most of these guys have women who are seeking to be pleased by them. And that's another thing that separates the alpha male from everybody else. I'm not saying you're beta, but I'm saying you're not alpha if you can't wrap your mind around the concept that it's her job to please you. Guys be told, well, well, she going to get it from somebody else. So you're a beta male to even be thinking about where she going to get it from. Any man who's thinking about where his woman going to get it from is a sucker. Any man who's thinking about where any woman going to get it from is a sucker. 
It's beta male energy to be worrying about what a woman gonna do when you can't predict what a woman gonna do, and but you can't put nothing past her. How you gonna be worried about what somebody gonna do that you can't put nothing past? Come on, bro. It's beta. The whole mindset is beta. Big Rich, peace, bro. Appreciate you being in the joint, man. It's super beta, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't make no sense. Don't make a bit of sense, man. Not to me anyway. It may make sense to somebody. But it don't make sense to me, man. At all. I wish it did. I wish I could make it make sense. Like I, I really wish I could make that make sense. Because I want to understand it. I want to understand what these guys be meaning. I want to understand what these guys be thinking. I want to try to make it make sense to me, but it just don't make sense with me. Don't make sense to me. Brown Hunter, 1975. Appreciate you being in the joint, man. Appreciate the five dollars super chat, bro. It don't make sense to me, brothers. I, I, I be trying. To, I be thinking about some of the things these guys say, man. Before I talk about it, I like to think about it for a few days, man. I be like, let me try to find an angle on it because maybe I ain't viewing it right. Shh. That ain't how it look, man. Another thing that these guys do, man. And, and let me tell you something. Let, let, before we go from that one, when you make sex all about pleasing her, you lose. Because deep down inside, every woman wants to please an alpha male. Every woman wants to be in the presence of a man that she just wants to please. His presence, his energy is so strong, so domineering, so commanding that she just wants to drop to her knees and please him in any way she can. And if you all about her pleasure, she'll never see you as that man. She, th there's two kind of men in a woman's sexual life and you can't be both. There's a man who pleases her and there's a man that she pleases because pleasing him pleases her. That's rare. Most men aren't that man. It's rare to be the man that the woman pleases because pleasing you pleases her. And I'm going to tell you, part of the reason is guys go chasing after women. You're almost always going to be the guy that the woman wants to please. If you got your joint, if you got your game together and you got your life together, man, and you confident, if a woman shows you attraction confirmation or choosing signals as the, as the, you know, the, with the old school term, but if a woman shows you attraction confirmation, you're almost automatically the man that she wants to please because she showed you attraction confirmation because looking at you pleases her. Thinking about what might, what you might feel like breaking her back pleases her. Wondering, wondering about all of those intimate ideas and those intimate thoughts turns her on. So you're automatically guaranteed to be the one. I mean, you can talk yourself out of it or walk yourself out of it. You know what I'm saying? Or baseball balk yourself out of it. But from the beginning, you're the man that she wants to please. If a woman, if a woman shows you attraction confirmation, man, that woman is already thinking about how she want to eat you up, how she want to sop you up with a biscuit. And that's why these guys don't get that. When you pursue a woman, you got to give her what you give someone when you pursue them. You got to please someone you pursue. Another thing these guys do, man, and this is a, this is, this is a weirdo joint right here, man. Making her a kept woman. What is a kept woman? A woman that don't have to do nothing but look cute, brother. A woman that don't have to do nothing. She ain't got to work. She ain't got to cook. She ain't got to clean. All she got to do is do anything. I had old sucker come on my uh, IG on my uh, IG joint, man, and tell me his woman is this and that and how I'm a fool and how I'm talking this fool's talk and turning men away from me. So I went to his page, man. And I'm gonna be honest with you. This is a white dude. Man, that white girl is bad. I ain't gonna even lie, man. She thick. She's slim thick. I ain't never seen a slim thick white girl ever in my life. She's slim thick, man, with a nice chunky ass, man. Some, 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 that girl, she throw. But, 
when you look at his profile and the way it is, all he was doing was showing pictures of her, the same scantily cad thought pictures. So she's a thought showing her, 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 her camel toe, you know, showing, showing, showing what my grandma called her pones, the bottom part of her butt cheek hanging from under her shorts, man. Now they got two children. Sometimes the children outside with her while he, he's taking pictures of her like this. And every time he posts them, he say, the reason I, I work over 60 hours a week, the reason I give her whatever she wants, the reason I do this, the reason I make her this, the reason she's my world, the reason she's the queen of my heart, the reason why I'll give her the world, the reason why I'll do this, the reason why I'll take this, the reason why i shoot this, the reason why i do every single post that boy made was like that. And I was like, man, this boy's a real live sucker. He's so caught up on this white girl beauty, man. Oh, literally, literally. When I saw a man, I was like, man, you know, man, that, that'd be sure. She'll make some nice money in the shake joint. First off, came to my mind, man. She'll make some good money in, in the shake joint, man. Strip club for, for y'all that ain't front of dirty. So I say that, man, and I say these guys don't mind making a woman a kept woman. Those days are gone. The days are gone that a woman deserves to just be a housewife. I'm not making now, bro, no housewife. Now, I ain't making now no housewife. Man. These women don't deserve to be no housewife, bro. You crazy if you make a modern woman a housewife. You just let her stay at home and do nothing. You crazy. That's crazy, man. But that's what they do, man. That's what we're dealing with in this particular society, man. Omar Oliver, man, appreciate you joining the family, bro. Johnny Deron, man, appreciate the $5 super chat, bro. Say one more donation because the knowledge is priceless. You may have a new patron subscriber. Thank you for this. Thank you for this, sir. Salute to you, brother. Appreciate the support, man. Now, I'm going to tell you like this, man. Another thing these guys do, and they feel like they have to do this, making friends with her friends. Man, let me tell you something. If you make friends with your girl, girlfriends, man, her and them going to view you like a sucker. I ain't saying you got to be mean to them or any of that. But when it comes to being friends with them, bro, let me tell you something. I ain't never smiled with no chick friends. Ever. Smiling, giggling, hee hee, ha ha, man. I just be chilling to the point, man, they speak, introduce themselves, bro. After that, they may ask me a couple of questions, man, and... That's it. They don't talk to me because I be straight faced, man. Not and not intentionally. I just don't. I, they, I, they ain't my friends. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, they ain't my people, man. So I just I just be the way I always am. You know what I'm saying? Straight faced, straight laced. I don't know them like that, and I ain't gonna never get to know them like that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, guys do that because you get, you make friends with their friends, and you try to be family with her family, man. You calling her. You know, her brother, brother-in-law, and you call, man, listen, I don't use terms like brother-in-law and mother-in-law, and I don't use none of those terms, man. Never. Because you're in a world today, man, where you ain't even got to be married to a woman, man. She'll be introducing the people as, as a husband. I don't want finna just go around calling me her husband, man. Not even for play. We not even going to play house. Man, when I was a kid, I ain't play house. We play nurse and doctor. I ain't even play no house. I ain't even play no I got no wife game. I ain't even like it then. And, and not because I was so profound and I, I knew what I was doing. I just didn't like, the, I ain't like house. I ain't like play, I ain't like play mom and dad. I ain't like that. So I was just always against those type of game, man. Don't, don't try to get me used to that sucker stuff. I say that in retrospect, but I ain't know what the hell I was doing back then. T Fit, man, appreciate $20 super chat. T say, man, come to my bed in the daily saying, I got to ask the boss. It's signaling. She sees him as, Beta while she gravitates toward my energy and he don't know why. Man, that's it, bro. When a cat tell me that his old lady is the boss, even his daughter. I've been hearing cats saying they little daughter the boss. Man, I am not finna I am not I'm not even finna play like that. Because words have power. While you thinking you playing, you speaking words into your life. You gotta watch what you say, man. You speak those words into your life for play, then you find out that there ain't no joke on the back end. You know, and then it's crazy that you make friends with her friend, man. Y'all split up, man. Guess who the friend gonna roll with? Guess exactly. They're never your friends, so never be theirs. I'm not, I'm not gonna try to be friends with somebody who's never gonna be my friend. We could be associates. We're associated through her. Fine. 
We're so shady. I don't want nobody to feel like they can call me. Man, I saw, let me tell you, and I know this, bro, this is a true story. I mean, all my stories are true, but this, I, I'm, this is what I'm going to start saying so when nobody asks me. This is a true story. When I know a guy, man, where his girl could make him get out of the bed and go help one of her friends because they got into the habit of calling them their friends. You know what I'm saying? When she don't do something, she'll tell him, your friend. And he felt like he was true. I don't know if he felt like he was truly their friend or not, man, but he just get up and do it. He felt like he was obligated. And I was like, man, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. Give me a quick second here, man. Ice coffee, man. Ice coffee. Another thing is this, man. Giving up. Now, we'll say that one for last. We got two more, man. Being a stepdad in the worst way. Being a stepdad is bad. Right? Being a stepdad is bad. But being a stepdad in the worst way. What's the worst way to be a stepdad? By actually trying to replace the real dad. There is nothing worse than a man who tries to replace the real dad. How are you going to try to replace the real dad? Not only are you stepdad, you want to replace the real dad. You are helping the woman build a defense against the real dad. You are helping the woman build a red a wedge between the real dad and his seed. You are stepping in, telling the woman you don't need him anymore. I the pappy. You you're you're stepping in, interfering in a process that was already ordained by the most high because this man already has this seed in this woman. So technically speaking, you're willing to be with this man's wife and be a father to his child so much that you're willing to try to run that man out of the picture. You a beta male simp man China. You did. You paid a mess simply in China. Being a stepdad in the worst way, man. Or, or, or either trying to be super cool with the dude. Or trying to be super cool like best buds. That's another stepdad in the worst way. 